currently the bus is in the shop right now, which has really allowed us to kind of slow down here, or it's honestly just forced us to slow down here. And we kind of been day to day, just kind of not knowing what to do with ourselves because we're normally go, 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 go. So we thought we'd take a day to deep clean the ambulance, which has been causing a lot of stress. The ambulance being so dirty has been causing a lot of stress. So I think we're gonna take the day to deep clean it and kind of take everything out and reset it and get rid of stuff we don't need. Honest opinions, how you doing today? Not great. What's up? I'm PMSing. The ambulance is a disaster. It doesn't look that crazy right now, but when you really look at it, there's shit everywhere. And it's stressing me out. I have too much stuff. We need to get rid of it. It broke right off. You think it, we're thinking it was a better idea to do it out here instead of just right in the middle of the parking lot. <laughs> it might draw a little less attention. Look at all that space we got. Look at all this space we got. Holy hell, we have a shower. I didn't even know this thing still existed. <laughs> We've been on the road two months now, three months, and we haven't used or even seen the shower empty once. All of this, these things here, not no exaggeration, fit into this shower. That was all the shit that was in there. It just goes to show that we need storage more than a shower in the ambulance. I feel like every time I see people have showers in their van builds, they end up using them as storage, and I thought, I was gonna be the exception. I was like, no, 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 I, I'm gonna need a shower, but I needed storage more. So we decided instead of taking everything out, we're just gonna go section by section because it got a little overwhelming. Um, there's a lot of stuff out here already, so we're just gonna do everything that we have out so far, and then put everything back, donate, get rid of things, and then move on to the next section. Okay, so the black room bag is gonna be the donate bag, and the red room bag is gonna be the trash bag. Everything else coming back in. This is the part I've been looking forward to the most. Hopefully we fill those bags. Should we bit. talk about our priorities in this cleaning <laughs> like we were just talking about? Yeah. Every time we've cleaned anything out ever, Gunner's main priority is getting rid of everything. And my main priority is sustainability. So I want to use whatever we can and donate whatever we can't. And that is just not how the brain works in Gunner's head. So it's kind of difficult doing this together <laughs> when our priorities are so shifted. And my priorities are to get rid of things so we don't go immediately back to the situation we just had where we're stressed out because we have too much stuff. So we gotta like find the balance in between there and work from there. These tattoos, they're fake tattoos and I'm putting them all over my body whenever I'm done with this cleanup process. It's all about using things to get rid of things. I'm gonna let this go. Yes! Are you proud of me? Whoa! <laughs> You're doing amazing already. Give me it. Here's the donate thing. Wait! Wait! That doesn't mean break things! So, no, go put it in the donate pot. <coughs> Into the donate bin. Thank you. That's so gross. I don't even want to do that. That's just coconut oil and hair. <laughs> I feel like we're on like a hoarder reality show. It's like, you can let it go. We're here. We need like, we need like your whole family here. We're like, we're here for you, Daniel. If my whole family's here, they're going to tell me to keep it. We have not one. Not two. But three different <laughs> toothpastes and four extra toothpastes. Oh yeah, we have five toothpastes. Six toothpastes. I see how this may look bad. You can buy another four pack and donate to charity. What? I don't want to do that. And instead of people who would normally use a treated cheap People toothpaste. aren't going to Goodwill to buy toothpaste, Beeb. I'm not getting rid of it. I thought you were going to go get pizza. No. Beeb. Please, you won't use it. You gotta stop. <laughs> you just gotta. You're stressing me out. It seems that our other lenses broke, the ones that we use for vlogging mostly, so it sucks, but we're gonna be on this, it's gonna be a lot tighter from now on until <laughs> we can get a new one of these. 
Things are, this week is tough, bro. This week has been so tough on us. It just seems like it's one thing after another and we're really, we're really just trying to push through it, but it's hard when we got all these freaking obstacles. Right. Yeah. Say right. Right. Tell them right. <laughs> right. Okay, it looks like I didn't accomplish anything, but I got rid of two baskets worth full of stuff up here and I think that's a good accomplishment. Nice. I'm happy for you. Thanks. Good job. Alright, so I kind of had my head done for a second. I was reorganizing everything, getting rid of things, and I, um, I have a good amount of donation stuff here. I have this whole bag, and then I have this stuff here that we're going to take to a little library, and then this stuff I want to take to Plato's Closet because I feel like I could get money for it. But yeah, it's looking pretty good. Got some stuff. I think I'm going to also donate Mr. Buddy because we don't need it. I also have this whole bag of trash, which is amazing. Shit just piles up so quick when you're living in such a tiny space, I feel like. And sometimes when you let it get out of control, it gets overwhelming. But I am starting to feel a little bit better. I haven't gotten rid of a lot of things, but it's definitely a considerable amount compared to this size of space I have, if that makes sense. It looks like it's worse than it is than we started with. Yeah, it honestly looks way worse than when we started, but everything back here is getting deleted. It's an organized mess. It's not just a mess. Come True. On. Yeah, look at this now. Wow. Yeah, let's show the good. There's so many dishes in the sink, I don't even think I can get the fucking kettle in here. Is that what these are called, kettles? It's hard to beat the quality of this camera, Pete. I know. We were thinking about getting a new camera all morning. We were just kind of looking at different options. Maybe we'd, we would vlog with the GoPro and get like an external mic for that and stuff like that. Or maybe we get a smaller point and shoot. But this quality on this camera is so damn good. Just, just look at it. Alright, not that good. <laughs> well, honestly, I think we hit a wall after cleaning literally like almost not even half of the ambulance. <laughs> And then I cleaned out the fridge today a little bit. Didn't really do much house cleaning, but honestly, that's just the realities of van life right now and our mental health and life. So we're gonna end it here and we hope to see you next week in a more fun video, possibly. Um, I think we have a fun one planned, yeah. actually, for once. Hopefully everything goes as planned. <laughs> like and subscribe to see that. And um, we'll see you next week or Monday. Bye.